Hello my dear students today we are in lecture number 31 of second chapter same unit electrostat hopefully my dear students today this would be uh, last lecture of uh, second chapter of ncert from monday we will start uh, current electricity okay my dear students i am bs pande the student as i got uh, the several requests uh, by the students to repeat the uh, plates problem so today first i will explain you uh, with another way or the another method the plates problem and then we will move to the next for balance v stone bridge and the uh, some circuit okay so let me discuss today with the plate problem plates problem okay so my dear student uh, suppose directly i am explaining here the concept with the example the first example suppose this is a plate and this is connected by the positive terminal this one is connected by the negative terminal you have to find the equivalent capacitance of this plates here the space between the plates are air and the separation is d a plate area is a a is the area and d is the separation okay now today i am teaching you uh, to solve this question first the same concept we have to write the numbering 1 2 3 and then you have to give the polarity of charge okay my dear student if it is positively charged plate then plus and plus and of course plus and plus here the middle one is negatively charged so it will be negative now student you can see 1 and 3 is connected it means this two at same potential so you will write 1 and 3 at one point the connected remember due, due to this two are positive that's why not we are written uh, writing here at one position but these two are connected directly okay it is connected directly that's why i'm writing 1 and 3 at one point and the another point is 2 okay now we will arrange the plates and this will be the Uh, easiest method that you can solve any plates problem you can see due to this plus and minus there is one capacitance between 1 and 2 so he is 1 and this is 2 so the one capacitor okay i am representing here the one capacitor now between 2 and 3 between 2 and 3 you can see there is one capacitor 2 and 3 where is 2 2 is here and 3 is here so the one capacitor in between this two now my dear student this is c and this is c now find out the terminal the terminal here between 1 and 3 the x terminal 1 and 3 is here so the x and the y terminal from 2 now this is very easy you can see both are in parallel so c equivalent will be how much it is c1 plus c2 if c1 is epsilon c1 c2 both are identical that's why it is 2 c and c is what twice epsilon not a by d okay so this is answer again take another example okay my dear student suppose this is the plate this is the plate now student this is the terminal for the positive suppose the x which is positive and y negative you can take any one positive or negative here also you can take any one positive or negative the answer will be same remember answer not going to be change my dear students now you have to give the numbering 1 2 3 and then positive negative this is positively charged so the plus plus and here plus and plus now the negative one here this one the negative negative here this one is the negative and negative now 1 2 3 and 4 now find out which point are at the same 
potential so 1 and 3 are connected directly so the 1 and 3 we are writing now 2 and 4 directed uh, connected directly 2 and 4 so 1 2 3 and 4 we have all the points now the representation of plates you can see between 1 and 2 there is one capacitor so this is 1 and this is 2 between one, 1 and 2 1 capacitor between 2 and 3 1 capacitor 2 and 3 this 2 is minus and plus so 1 capacitor remember 1 capacitor we are considering actually due to plus and minus suppose if in any arrangement if this is plus and this is also plus there will be no capacitor plus and minus that's why this is the capacitor minus plus one capacitor so between two and three one capacitor two here and three so the one capacitor now between three and four where's three three is here and four is here so another capacitor in between these two now find out the terminals x from one and three one and three y from two and four from 2 and 4 y you can see easily these three are connected in parallel so the c equivalent will be c1 plus c2 plus c3 that is the 3 c that is 3 epsilon naught a by d hi o okay i hope students uh, this would be a little bit easiest method okay uh, let me give you another question if you understand then try to solve by yourself my dear student okay now this one is the question of plate problem this would be your class work mm, suppose this is x and this is y you have to find the capacitance if you can solve try to solve okay now look at here 1 2 3 and 4 now give the polarity suppose this is plus and this is minus so plus plus and minus minus okay now due to this plus there will be minus and there will be plus due to this plus there will be minus and here will be plus okay now you have to arrange the points point 2 and 4 at one position 2 and 4 now 1 now 3 I think it is finished 1 2 3 4 okay that's it now find out the capacitor between 1 and 2 there is one capacitor 1 and 2 1 capacitor between 2 and 3 between 2 and 3 1 capacitor between 3 and 4 1 capacitor between 3 and 4 1 capacitor now find out the terminal terminal from 1 x from 3 it is second terminal from 3 it is y now if you will arrange this circuit you will find remember this is the flexible wires so you can pull this one to this side this way if you pull this one this side it looks like this one this is x okay my dear students now I am erasing this one now you can see this is very easy these two are in parallel and then it is in series so this will be C of this one and this will become 2C so the answer will be C equivalent it is 2C times C divided by 3C that is 2 over 3C answer I hope a student now you will not confuse while solving the plates problem one I am giving you for your home assignment otherwise I have given you the home assignment you can solve the number of question but one question I'm giving you here
okay so uh, this is one plate and this is another plate you have to find the capacitance of this network my dear student so this was the uh, request of few students that's why i repeated this particular topic now come to the next one today we are moving for balance v stone bridge actually it is the v stone bridge uh, v stone has given a very fantastic circuit solution v stone bridge there are two types of v stone bridge one it is balanced v stone bridge and another it is unbalanced remember this is the electronic circuits it had nothing to take by uh, with the mechanic it is electronic circuit so oh my dear student uh, this particular topic we will study in very detail in the next chapter that is the electric current but uh, here i am explaining you the concept the balance v stone bridge structure will looks like you will have this is the terminal x and y you will have the four arm capacitor okay and this one is the bridge okay this is the two arm and two arm and this is the bridge this will also contain a capacitor all right now my dear student uh, we will study the condition of balance v stone bridge okay in the next chapter here the two terminal suppose this is capacitor c1 c2 c3 and c4 and this is c5 so balance and unbalanced condition for the balance i am telling you the condition if remember if c1 by c2 c1 by c2 is equals to c2 by c3 by c4 c3 by c4 or c1 by c3 is equals to c2 by c4 remember this is the condition if it is poses such condition then then this two point if it is p and q then p and q will be at same potential remember at same potential what does it mean if p and q at same potential it means there will be no flow of charge by c5 and then the c5 can be vanish can be taken out from the circuit we can remove this c5 and then circuit looks like final circuit looks like this one and this will be the simplest one you will be highly interested to solve such type of question based on balance v stone bridge my dear student c1 c2 c3 and c4 now you can see that the c5 is removed from the circuit now this was very difficult to solve but now this is very simple c1 and c2 are in series c3 and c4 are in parallel it means c equivalent will be now here c1 and c2 are in series it means c1 c2 by c1 plus c2 and this is also in series and then finally in parallel it means this two will sum up so c3 and c4 by c3 plus c4 and this is the answer remember so in this case this is very easy this is the condition and this will be the final circuit okay if it is balanced if it is not balanced then we will have some exercise okay we will do such type of question remember students i am showing here the few structure or the few balance v stone bridge okay
we will talk about the balanced Wheatstone bridge and then we'll come to the unbalanced Wheatstone bridge, how we will solve unbalanced Wheatstone bridge, okay? Okay, my dear students, look at here. The another one, which is the important, not very much, after a few examples, you'll be able to write such type of note points. Remember, if a balanced Wheatstone bridge in this way, this is the X and Y terminal. Okay. This is the bridge one, bridge capacitor. If all the capacitors are identical. Okay. And whatever this one, C, C1, C2, because finally it has to be removed from the circuit. If all the capacitors are identical, if you find all the capacitors identical in balanced Wheatstone base, then answer will be the either one capacitance. Okay, so the C equivalent will be C answer. Remember, okay. Now, another example. Here I am showing you the few uh, balance V stone bridges. You have to tell me whether this is balance V stone bridge or not. Here I am taking the points X and Y. Okay. This is C, 2C, 2C, 4C. Whether this is balanced Wheatstone base. So, now, the next example. Kindly find out whether this is balanced Wheatstone base. The next one. Finally, I will tell you the answer. This one, the terminals X and Y. Suppose it is C, C, 2C, 2C, C. Whether this is balanced Wheatstone bridge? If yes, then what will be the final structure of this balanced Wheatstone bridge? Another one. Okay. This one, this one, this is the C, 2C, C, 4C, 2C, whether this one is the balance we stone bridge. Okay, let me solve these three questions, then after we'll move for the another V stone bridge circuit. Okay, whether this one is the Balanced Wheatstone Bridge student and the answer is yes, it is Balanced Wheatstone Bridge. C, this is the terminal and about the terminal you have to see the arm resistor. Okay, so the C by 2C, C by 2C, whether equals 2C by 4C, 2C by 4C, then you will find answer yes, this is also 1 by 2 and this is also 1 by 2. It means the ratio are same, then what will be the answer? So the answer will be, you have to remove this one, okay, bridge. Now answer, C, 2C, so the C and 2C, here I'm solving the question, this one, C and 2C, so the C times 2C by C plus 2C. I'm sure that few students are able to solve this question directly with the very simple mathematical calculation here the 2c and 4c so the 2c times 4c by 2c plus 4c okay 2c plus 4c now solve here it is 2 this c will be cancel out okay so 2 by 3c plus here 6 and this c will be cancel out so the 2c is 2c divided by here yeah, the 2 4 8 c divided by 6 and the answer is 4 and it is 3 so the 6 c by 3 the answer will be 2 c 
I hope you got answer of this particular question. Now the second one, whether this one is the balanced Wheatstone bridge, my dear students. I'm rubbing this one. Whether this one is the balanced Wheatstone bridge, and the answer is yes. This is balanced Wheatstone bridge. How it is? If terminal is here, then C by two C. And which is equal to C by 2C or C by C equals to C by 2C. So this will be remove. You can stretch this circuit by pulling down. Then you will see this circuit looks like this one. If we will pull down that circuit. Okay. In few circuit, you have to train yourself that you need to pull or stretch the circuit to see whether this one is in balance condition or not okay to see and to see i hope you can solve now next one this one yes to see by c so to see by c whether this is equals 4c by to c 4c by to c answer is yes this is a balanced wisdom base and the final circuit looks like this one this will be removed this two are in series, this two are in series and then parallel. I hope you can solve uh, this one, my dear student. Now I'm giving you a few homework and then we'll come to the unbalanced V stone bridge. Okay, my dear student. Now, look at here. Uh, this will be your homework. Okay. The first homework. By pausing the video, I am writing the homework because it will uh, take some time. So, my dear student, uh, these are the four homework. Uh, look at here on this first one. Uh, here the five microfarad. All the capacitors are given in microfarad. Remember, right? five microfarad, five microfarad, five, five, ten, ten. Okay, five and five, five and five, and then ten. This one and ten. This one. Now look at here, are the C, 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 C and C, X and Y terminal. Here this one is the X and this is the Y terminal. Now look at here, here this is not connected, remember this is not linked with this one, okay. And this terminal is X and this is Y, here C. C, 2C, 2C, 4C and C. You have to find the equivalent capacitance between terminal X and Y. Now the fourth one, you can see it is C, C, 2C, 2C, 4C, 4C, C and C, terminal X and Y. So these are the four homework. Now my dear students, another example I'm here discussing. Suppose this is the circuit whether this one is the balance or unbalanced try to tell me the answer c c c c and c whether this one is the balance or unbalanced and what will be the answer okay pause the video and try to solve now look at here for the answer my dear students actually this is not the v stone bridge this is the very simplest circuit these two are in series, these two are in series and then all the three are in parallel. So the answer will be this two are in series. It means C by 2 plus C, this one, plus these are two in series, C by 2. And this is the answer that is the 2C. C equivalent will be 2C. Okay, this will be the answer. Now we'll come to the unbalanced V stone bridge. How to solve the questions of unbalanced V stone bridge if the bridge is unbalanced. So the one method already I have discussed with you. Today I'll discuss. Okay, the both method I will recall you today. But the unbalanced V stone bridge. This one. Okay, let me draw. Mm, the circuit a little bit clear over here a battery is connected over here 
and this one in the bridge capacitor these are the capacitor okay now suppose this value is uh, 2 4 and 4 yes 4 and 2 and this is 2 and suppose the battery here the V now whether this one is the balanced Wheatstone base or unbalanced Wheatstone base the answer is yes this is the unbalanced Wheatstone base now the question how this type of question will be solved so remember students the one concept I have been explained already charge distribution okay so the charge distribution method one method one it is a charge distribution method charge distribution is suppose the q charge start moving from the battery this one is suppose this is 10 volt remember here the 10 volt or 50 volt the equivalent capacitance not going to be changed only the charge of circuit will change if you have been asked to find the equivalent capacitance don't worry about the potential what should be taken 10 volt 100 volt whatever may be the potential equivalent capacitance not going to be changed so you can take any potential over here if the terminals are given don't worry about the potential now my dear students, the charge q is moving okay at this point the charge will divide in two points suppose q1 and q2 this one is q1 and this is q2 at this point when the charge will reach again the charge will have to break in two parts suppose q3 is moving towards this one or the q3 it is moving towards this one due to the little split i'm writing at this one the q3 okay so what amount of charge will go along this one q1 minus q3 okay now these are the direction of charge charge is coming from here charge is coming from here the both will sum up and goes in this direction and here the charge is coming the charge is coming both will sum up and will come toward this one and this will be equals to q remember what is q q actually break in two parts q1 plus q2 okay you can see whether this uh, distribution is correct or not how you will solve using the charge distribution method that is the method one so you will take three loops here the loop one loop two and this one is the loop three remember to study the loop i'm writing here the a b c i hope you will be able if you are looking at from initial okay a b c d okay and this is the battery v itself we will use as a symbolic name now loop one only i'm giving you the name of loop you will solve by yourself so the loop one it is a b a a b d a a b d a now loop two or the name of loop two b c d b b c d b now loop three this one a d c a d c b b and a okay a d c b and a so these are the three loops you will write the three equation three variable you are having then you can solve okay you know in mathematics it is very again i am writing this circuit and i'm telling you the another concept okay the another method to solve you can solve this particular question by seven to eight method remember my dear students seven to eight method you can use to solve such type of question there is a another method called the delta star conversion okay due to sort of time i cannot explain over here but in uh, class program if you will ask then i'll tell you okay by show now my dear students again i'm pausing the video and drawing this particular uh, network hey my dear students so this was the circuit now we are going to study by the another method and this method is called the potential divider method method two okay method two potential divider method this is called the potential divider method my dear student to uh, use this potential divider method remember you have to find the potential suppose potential of the circuit over here it is 10 volt what will the potential at this point zero what will be here of course zero volt okay potential at over 10 volt over here 10 volt over here again 10 volt okay 
do you know the potential of a no let it is x potential of a you know no let it is y now we will use here the first law of kirchhoff's kirchhoff's first law now my dear students at this point if we we'll apply the kirchhoff's law at x at x k c l we are going to apply where at x so the charges are coming at x from three section okay from here from here and here suppose x at high potential what will be the net charge at x according to this law net charge at x should be how much zero okay so what will be the charge as we know that q equals to cv so at this point the q will be c into v and what will the potential here the potential across this capacitor will be x minus 10 so 2 times x minus 10 plus 2 times x minus y 2 times x minus y plus here 4 times x minus 0 Four times x minus zero is equals to how much? Equals to zero. Now you will solve. You will get a equation with x and y. Okay. Now for this particular at this point, at this point you will write again the same equation and you will find a uh, charge is coming from three section one two three coming or going. It doesn't matter. We are taking this y point at high potential. So. The charge for this one Q is equals to C V. C is four. Four times V. How much Y minus ten plus two times Y minus X. Y minus X plus two times Y minus zero. Y minus zero equals to how much? This is zero. Equation one. Actually, after solving, you will get the equation one and equation two. And using that equation one and two, solving x and y, you will have the answer. Okay. I am pausing the video to write this value of x and y so that we can save the time. We are already running out with the time. So this will be the equation four x minus y equals to twenty. Equation one. And here four y minus x is equals to. 20 this two equation you will solve and you will get the value of x and y okay now the question is how you will find the equivalent capacitance actually by this method students you can find out the equivalent capacitance even the potential across each capacitor charge on each capacitor remember if you are having the value of x by x minus 10 you will have the potential across this one if you are having the potential across this one and the potential capacitance is 2 then charge you will have okay so you can find out the potential and charge across each capacitor by very simple method this voltage divider method now equivalent capacitance what should be the equivalent capacitance so we know that student q is equals to cv okay cv and c will be q by v what is the v so v already we are having 10 volt it means we requ we uh, required to find the we are finding here the charge okay what will be the charge so the charge basically this battery is leaving the charge q which is dividing in two parts it means you have to find the charge over this one and this one and you will sum up the two charge you will have the net charge of this circuit here the charge will be how much it means after knowing the value of x and y you will find the charge over here suppose it is q1 and charge over here suppose it is q2 by adding this q1 q2 this will be q dividing v you will get the equivalent capacitance okay my dear students so this is the voltage divider method i am giving you one okay homework you will solve by yourself i am rubbing this one my dear students you will solve this particular question as a homework by both the method okay potential divider and charge distribution as well so the first question actually one question i'll give you by this one okay the simple question i'm giving you 2 2 4 okay and the 10 volt you have to find equivalent capacitance of this network and charge across each capacitor and potential across each capacitor okay you have to find this is your homework so this is all about the question and the few question i am giving you for the homework this one is the first one second 
This question a student uh, will ask in CBSC. That is the very important question. Kindly note down this question. Okay. This is also your homework. Hmm. This is the plate arrangement. This question is being asked one year in IIT also. If you go go, a plate area is A, A, A separation. Suppose it is D between these two plate. This length is also D and this length is also D. Remember, this is D. You have to find equivalent capacitance between X and Y if such type of arrangement. If I'll give you the plate straight here of this much space, then you can find easily the equivalent capacitance, but the arrangement is a little bit different. You have to find the equivalent capacitance of this network and a few questions I'll give you, okay, in homework. Thank you, my dear student.